about to wrap up the last round of Swiss. Uh, we're What's the event? Of Netrunner Regionals here at 401 Games. Uh, the, vo the volume here has gotten a lot quieter because the other events have just finished up, so we finally get to hear ourselves uh, talk about stuff. So, Andre's playing uh, MTI today with Sun Moon as his restricted card. Okay. So, and Alex is playing. Could you introduce your co captain? Oh, uh, my name is Sung Ho, and I'm joined with. Nice to meet you, Charlotte. What do you think about this matchup? Um, well, I always find playing against Uji Bakun really hard as a runner. I haven't really figured out how, how to do it. Maybe that's why it's so prominently represented today, because other people haven't either. So I'm excited to see if somebody can... How Alex is going to do this. Can we start? Yeah. Yeah, he said it, apparently. Sorry, buddy. Wow, shots fired. Okay, okay. Just throw me under the bus. Hashtag under the bus. I only did here. <laughs> but they did a trash report card. Uh, so, oh, patchwork. Very interesting to see that in uh, Max. Interesting. So it's probably a... Probably a good way to toss conspiracy breakers or irrelevant cards to get reduction costs. It's not bad. So... Interesting that Andre's. I don't know his list, but. Interesting oh, yeah, that. Okay. Alright, so Alex is playing like. It's weird because it's like, it's like Nat, except it's not Nat. <laughs> like, he's got Rebirth to turn into Nat, maybe? And then we got Andre on the right playing. Ooh, Blacklist. I like that. Okay, clones not dudes. Okay, all right. We got some political dealings. Holy shit. I mean, holy crud. Uh, uh, oops. <laughs> yeah, the, the Blacklist seems very good against Max in particular at the right oh, yes. moment. Okay. Uh, I feel like that's more like just mainly for that. I guess he doesn't want to run turntable. That makes sense. Uh, run the DBS. Yeah. So he tries to run the daily business show. Andre's like, hold on, I'm gonna use my ID ability. Let's see what he wants to res. Political dealings. Okay, okay. So he draws four, puts one to the bottom. Uh, okay, I'm just gonna remind them to not put that card in their hand. person to uh, object to certain uh, things, but okay. since I am the judge, I should probably... What was going on there? I oh, actually catch that's okay. Back. So normally when you use a daily business show, uh, you're not supposed to be putting the cards you see on top of the cards in your hand. All right. So you can't really be mixing the cards together. Right. So, yeah, you them. exactly. Yeah. Okay. So, ooh, okay. So I see why... Uh, Andre's playing uh, Excel Moon as his uh, restrictor card. He's using T sponsorships to get Excel Moon back in and just start drawing cards like mad. Because it allows me a free install from Archives or HQ. <laughs> Very interesting. He's poor, so you don't really have to worry too much about. So hacktivist, okay, double hacktivist. Okay. No drip economy for Alex, so probably would want to get down that climb edge as soon as possible. Okay. 
Colts? If, if that is Clan Ben, just like, uh, it looks like it. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So he's got to trash. Oh, okay. Plays David instead. All right. Uh, I wonder what type of ice uh, Alice is worried about this early. Can't be Cortex a lot, because I can't even remember with that. Um, maybe not. Yeah, I guess for what you usually scout of DNA tracker, that tracker, that sort of stuff, uh, Andre needs to get more money. But. Oh, yes, exactly, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, in terms of records, um, Andre and Alex are both at nine points. Uh, that's what Spackler was asking. Uh, a lot of the other matches, uh, while we were going down, uh, it did either an intentional draw or uh, requested not to be on stream. So this was the next person on the list that was uh, wanted to be on. So that's our record right now. This is the top card. Passion is still. Seems smart. Looks like they got one more click left. I don't think he used zero this turn. Oh, okay. <laughs> He's on to use zero. <laughs>
in this matchup, Andre probably wants to look for, as every Anarch deck wants, climb edges and zero as soon as possible. That seems like the, the norm for a lot of Anarchs these days. In terms of outfit, it's actually my first time seeing it in person of someone playing it, so we'll see how this goes. Yes. It's minimal. Uh, so we'll see if uh, Andre will probably pick up on that on uh, if it's going to be the case. <coughs> Excuse me. Well, that's the beauty of uh, Bath Up is during runs, super cheap, but during traces, they don't do anything. So you're going to have seven Bath Up for all Alex cares, but if you can't beat the trace, then you die. <laughs> so we'll, see, uh, we'll see how many Bath Up uh, 100 gets uh, throughout this match. I'm going to guess five. I'm going to guess five. How many bow up do you think? Uh, I have never yet seen the outfit in actual play, so I have no idea how this is going to play. Oh, and then Alex is also playing the newest. Um, sorry, my apologies. The newest MBN asset too, where whenever you res it and trash it, you can do a trace and then fire a, a tag on them. Seven map ups. All right. Oh, he's about to get one. Oh, he did not install Vance Vance to score the. Oh, because he's about to gain a million money right now. Okay. So he's going to get seven, but with the ability, he's going to get an additional three. So he's going to get ten. And then last click, I believe, is. I don't know. Install legal arms? Yeah. Okay. Pretty good setup. Ooh. Getting, uh, getting rebirth starting hand is pretty good too. It's going to help uh, turn into Edward Kim. Good trash cards. But he doesn't look like he has a lot of economy, so that's not going to be helpful. Yeah. <laughs> Already choosing what cards to go away. Uh, doesn't want to run aggressively, which is smart. Losing a hit clip. So. Could you pull up uh, Alex's deck list again one more time? Alex. Sorry. Okay. It's okay. I just want to see what Alex is doing with that dedication ceremony to see if there is a. Um, that may be for the City Works project. Um, oh, yeah. Let's install face up. To oh, use right the, there. <laughs> the dedication ceremony to put three counters on it to make it very hard to steal. That's true. Okay. Install the romance. Get a bath, uh, get a uh, hostile takeover. That's going to net him um, eight points, eight, eight uh, credits. Five for the uh, three more. Yeah, filthy rich. Two points. For the second one. Already on three bad cards. Sorry? Already on three bad cards. Oh, yeah, yeah. Three, three of five. In, in about turn three, or maybe turn four. <laughs> you are wild sometimes. <laughs> VKYCC, uh, YYC, I do not know the Edmonton list, so it might be, I, I don't know too much knowledge about that, so. Let's see, yep, gains another credit, and two cards. Start jamming the yeah because uh, City Works project is two me an additional me for every advancement counter on it. Yeah, that's correct. So if he goes install City Works dedications and protects it, they need at least five cards in hand. 
SIU? It's the newest Rain of Reverie card. I think this is what Alice is deciding if he wants to res it. It's, uh, it's a very interesting asset that if you win the trace, they just get a tag. But he chose not to use it. Interesting. I think that would have been a great turn to use it. Yeah, oh yeah. Win. Uh, Clear says, uh, yeah, window way fast, but no, can't you? Um, you can do illegal arms and then do it after, but I think he did his mandatory draw together, so. Oh, loses the employee strike. Thank you, thank you. Uh, you got strike for a second. Uh, You could do it before he draws the second card, just to get a free credit with the illegal arms, and then he can fire the uh, SIU, but after he draws the second card, there's windows to mm -hmm. There we go. So now, yeah, he's got, yeah. Because, uh... When you rest it on your turn, you've already passed your <laughs> start of turn triggers. So, okay, checking the. It, I can't read that. Is that trace three? Uh, yes, yeah, hmm? trace three. Trace three, okay. Trace five. Trace five. It's trace five. Keep us waiting. Trace. No, no, no. I, I know. I don't know what the base it's trace is. Oh, okay. okay. <laughs> Makes him use the Clive Vengeance to lose cards. Understandable, so that he doesn't lose the. Uh, uh, doesn't lose Clive Vengeance to, his, uh, to Alex. Okay, so. Uh, yep. Okay. No, no, he just. 
because once uh, once Andre removes the tag, there's no window for Zealous Judge to be rest at that point. So he just wants to get it going and then it's just start tagging him mad and then... Uh, I guess at this point, the point is that Andre can get I don't think Andre ran this turn, so we'll probably just trash the daily cast, make him four, um, credit, and then give him a tag. Gives him two tags. Oh, no, the score is out. Four bad pub. Uh, so that's another eight credits. Did they remove a bad set, a bad club in a way? Because I don't think I see. Uh, I don't think I see four. Uh, I think that uh, Alex is not put down the starting bad club. Got it. Got it. Yep. Trash it. Run it. Yep. Don't want that judge to be there no more. Okay. One more click. No. Uh, I don't know what he wants to get. I'm gonna play my vengeance for sure. Yep. Ooh, another bad pub. Alright, mandatory draw. Yeah, <laughs> yes. <laughs> it's the I trash it, you get three. I don't trash it, he gets extra cards. Alright, trash the daily cast. Uh, installs real reality 3D. Yeah. Ooh, oh, he's trying. No other. Yep. There's a bunch of resources. Dirty Laundry is HQ. Season Enigma. Runs it. Reality 3D. <laughs> I like this deck actually. This outfit deck. Very fun. Oh, sorry. Yes, yes. <laughs> yes, you're right. You're right. <laughs> It's not that scary to trash those. I know. You have all the bad yeah. It only costs you a run to trash it, which is the interesting thing. It's just. Yeah, that's true. But now you can trash most of the things for free. Yes. Ooh. Ooh, I don't know. Does. He could. Alex could try to go for the win here. Ooh, I don't know. That looks like under the bus. Does he run under the bus? No, it doesn't. I don't know what that is. What are you curious about? No, he, he has a card in his hand, but I don't know what it is. So, uh, I'll let... We'll figure it out what the card is. So, it looks like... There's nothing weird in it. Oh, it is Too Big to Fail. Sorry. The Under the Bus and Too Big to Fail kind of have a very similar art. So, what happened? Yeah. So... I was just basically going for the, the pseudo win next turn. If Andre steals it, then it's fine. If Andre can't steal it this turn, then he was win. Andre probably has big flags going on, being like, why is he trashing his way to get give the uh, infinite tags? I know that almost yeah, so that's, that's why he was checking the bin. That's correct. To see if there was, yep, for sure. So credit, liberated, and then double liberated, and then draws and scores. Okay. And that is the outfit. Wow. Nice. Yeah. Uh, the caveat of playing a 50 card deck, it happens where you don't find the uh, icebreakers you need. Uh, yeah, right at the bottom, like six cards. Yeah.